What's going on? I'm Mariah Elise. This is Frame, and today we're gonna get into my financial plan into collecting art. I'm gonna show you guys what financial milestones are vital for me to reach in order for me to collect art pieces while also making smart financial choices and how I'm gonna reach those milestones. This is a strategy that you all can use no matter where you are financially. This plan allows us to spend money that our money made on our art collection. I had been having trouble figuring out how I would truly create a budget and a plan of collecting the pieces that I want instead of spontaneously spending so much money. And then it dawned on me, the smartest thing to do is to allow my assets to purchase my other assets. Now before we get started, I want you guys to take a really hard look at your account, it's your bank accounts, your investment accounts, and so on. And make a determination right now, how much money do you have available that you are comfortable spending on your art collection. Let me know in the comments if you're comfortable. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. So let's take a look at my actual financial plan and the steps I'm taking within that plan to reach the milestones that will allow me to collect while I'm remaining financially responsible. Let me first disclaim this video by saying in no way do I strictly look at art as an investment. I believe in buying what you absolutely love, but what if what you love costs twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000? I personally need a financial plan to make that purchase. Honestly, it doesn't matter how much money you have, I'm going to be cognitive about those choices. And if we're going to be smart about it, we need to understand how we're going to get there and how we're gonna make sure we're comfortable spending that amount of money. Planning also allows us to take time to think about what we actually wanna collect. The closer we get to our financial goals, we start looking at what is it that I really wanna purchase? What artists do I wanna pay attention to? What artists do I want in my collection? And we get to think about it and you know actually plan our collection. First of all, let's define assets. Now simply put, an asset is something that pays you. But if we define it correctly, an asset is a resource with economic value that an individual, a corporation, or a country owns or controls with the expectation that it will provide a future benefit. Now, assets can be broken down into several different categories or asset classes, but the two we're gonna focus on today are equities, which are stocks, that's owning a piece of a company, and commodities, that's owning something physical like property, natural resources, commodities, art, <laughs> and precious metals like gold and silver. Now you guessed it, we're gonna use our equities like stocks to purchase our commodities like art. Now as much as art can be an asset class, it doesn't really serve me personally to only look at it as such. It's something I plan to love and enjoy as well. So again, we're not only collecting for financial reasons, say it with me, we want to be integral collectors, but also smart. Now what does that mean? We wanna collect art because we love it, have integrity in our collection, be thoughtful about it, but as we should do with everything, we wanna make good choices financially. That's not to say that the pieces that you always buy need to be predestined to appreciate in value. That's just to say, let's make sure that we don't only have a plan for our collection that is socially driven, constantly driven, or aesthetically driven. We need to have also a financial plan. So it's simple. We're gonna use an investment account to fund our art collection. Now I was in between sharing my plan for Robinhood, which is one of the investment apps I buy my stocks on, but I thought, you know what, let's go a simpler route, one that we don't have to think too hard about. Let's use an investment strategy that takes little to no thought. So I chose to start our plan centered around the investment app Acorns, and here's why. Acorns is an investment app that allows us to invest our spare change. Now every time you spend money, it takes your spare change rounds it to the nearest dollar and invest it into a diversified account among large, medium, or small companies. Now, if you don't understand, here's an example. If I buy something for $1.50, Acorns is going to round that amount up to the nearest dollar and invest the remaining 50 cents for us into perhaps a company like Apple. Over time, this account will grow. I want you to trust me. If you keep spending money, it's going to add up. Now let's go ahead and look at my personal account, but make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna go over my financial milestones and let you guys know at which milestones we're gonna purchase art and how much we're gonna allow ourselves to spend. Now remember, this is a journey we're on together, so I will share with you guys who and what I'm collecting along the way. All right, so we're in the app, and the first thing we notice is my account is in total valued at $3,017. 
But what we're going to pay attention to is the tab that says invest in your future, which is valued at $2,549.04. We want to use the money that our money made to fund our collection. You guys see what I'm saying? Now here's a tidbit on what milestone number one is. My first milestone before I will allow myself to collect a piece is $6,000. So what that means is when I get to $6,000, I'm ready to invest. Now that doesn't mean that we're gonna spend the entire 6K. We're only gonna spend a thousand and we're gonna allow this account to build a bit more so we can hit our second milestone, which will give us a bigger budget. Now back into the app. If we scroll down, we'll see how much we invested over the last days, which is, in my case, $127.25. Now, if we want to look at, take a look at all of my roundups, we're going to click this little tab that says View My Round, and it shows that I have rounded up 1,151, invested a total of, like I told you guys earlier, $1,339.71. It also tells you what your latest transactions are. Apparently, I spent too much money at the Contemporary Arts Museum Houston a few days ago, and I don't know. Let's get out of this and take a look at our investment account. Now, I'm not gonna spend a boatload of time going over this app, so if you really wanna get into it, I put a link in the description of a few videos you can watch about Acorns. But I will brief you on my settings. My roundup settings are set to three times, which means if we use that same formula for buying something for $1.50, Acorns is going to multiply my roundup three times instead of the typical two times, which means if I spend $1.50, now I'm going to also invest $1.50. Hope you're following me. The other important part is the, recur the recurring investment. Right now, I'm only set to invest a recurring amount of $10 a week every Monday. But since we have some major goals to reach together, I'm going to go ahead and change that to $25 per week, which is in addition to my roundups. So you guys know my first milestone is $6,000. We all know I have $3,450.96 to purchase my first piece, <laughs> to purchase my first piece. Now, before we get into the rest of the milestones, make sure to subscribe, like, and turn that notification bell on. Now, here are the milestones. I know you guys think that it's gonna take forever to get to this amount of money, but it won't if we make the right choices. So first off, our first milestone is $6,000, which will give us $1,000 available to spend. Now keep in mind, this is a stock market and it can go up and it can go down. If that happens, stay calm. It goes down, but it also goes up. Also, availability means how much I have available to spend on art. This doesn't have to be one piece. It could be multiple pieces but I'm gonna be very careful about what I'm collecting. Now also doesn't mean you can't put other money with this. This is your base. Well, for me, it's my budget, <laughs> but for you, it can be your base. And if you wanted, and if you wanna add a thousand extra from another source, that's totally up to you. But anyway, nine times out of 10, these budgets will encompass one piece from an artist that you have likely been following their career and thinking about collecting for some time. Our next goal is $12,000. When we get there, our availability will be $2,000 to spend on art. Next will be $18,000 with $3,000 availability. So the next one will be $25,000 with $5,000 availability. Next up, $37,000 with $7,000 availability. Next up, $60,000 with $10,000 availability. Those are five major purchases and those are allowing us to climb that scale and that level of art that we're buying over time. Now mind you, this isn't my savings account, this is my spare change that I've given purpose to. And I know it feels like it's going to take us forever to get to $60,000, but it truly depends on how aggressive you get with your account. Now I have a completely different plan with my Robinhood investment account, but that's because I have a ton more control over it. Depending on the decisions I make, which can get risky, I'll, I may make more and that's a big may. I may hit my collection goals faster. Either way, the point is allow your money to make money to fund your collection. At least that's my take. This doesn't just help you collect, it helps you become an investor. And that's a driving force for me. Hopefully it drives you too. I know we went over a lot, but hopefully it's added a little value to your life. And if you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button, another goal I'm trying to reach is having a thousand scrubbers on YouTube. Close it out. You guys have a solid day, a solid week, um, and I'll holler at you guys next week.